greenhouse was constructed at the same time as the high school. It was part of this new building when this became the high school as opposed to uh, Harbor Lights, which does have a greenhouse also. One of the things I would love for students to know about the greenhouse is that I have no problem with people passing through my room to go out to the greenhouse for a class or if they were coming after school part of the club. It would be a great way you could start flowers or keep flowers going over the course of the winter or you could potentially plant some flowers to give to family members. I had AP Bio with Yeager last year and he would give us plants to take home. So now I just stop in sometimes to take more plants. Um, I like how warm it always is in the greenhouse and I like all the plants. It's a really nice place to go and I get a lot of my plants from there. In the summertime, the plants that are in the greenhouse end up getting moved outside into what we call the tree nursery. There's a little fenced off area over behind me down by the teacher parking lot and some of the plants will occasionally get planted in the ground. Um, some of the other plants, like my mom's, mine, and my grandma's, all go back to us over the summer. The plants in the greenhouse come from a variety of sources, from something as simple as myself trying to overwinter some plants, some of my mom's or grandma's plants getting overwintered, um, some of Mr. Yeager's mom's plants, as well as plants that um, he has acquired from local teacher and then also from the Holland groundskeeping people. A greenhouse is a great thing to have at the high school or middle school or any school like because it gets students an opportunity to apply some practical knowledge and understanding about plant growth and propagation.